sampling of kachwa. I cannot be listening to something I don't. Ah, yeah, just asa. Niko to kuri makachwa. Niki mara na jitu si. But if I find out that I'm insulting people, you know, there's a song I can't remember, but there's a song. Um, there's a song that. Skumuki likuwa na sema nini. So me I never bothered to know the meaning. Kumbe e ya 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 ya. I sang it one time and someone looked at me and they were like. I'm looking, I'm trying to remember what that song was. Because I remember it was in Gengeton. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't like Gengeton 1, 2. Yeah. I, I was just singing it, like that line is what, it was those, one of those trending songs, <coughs> I can't remember. Mm -hmm. And then someone asked me, do you know what that song means? And I was like, I, I, I yeah, don't that, know. That, that, that happens to me too. I did, uh, okay, Nileka Instagram story, then Nileka a song. Then one of my friends, I can hear that song is Savage. Well, that's <laughs> when I started looking for the relics of the songs before I post. Me too. I always <laughs> have to, like, I always have to find what does the song mean? Yeah. In Amanisha Nini. Uh -huh. Maybe I will listen to anything as long as <laughs> I am vibing with it. I don't mind. Um, I, I don't even understand the language. I will just listen to it. Uh, come on, lately I have been listening to a bit of K-pop. I don't understand anything, but it's really nice. It's really. If you music. are a musician, mm -hmm. what what genre of music would you write? For me, I don't. You have like a soft. You have like a soft voice. Try to raise your voice, kid. Don't go to uh, For me, I do gospel. You do gospel. Yeah. Okay. Why? Okay, I just love them, and uh, yeah, so just love. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have a feeling of what you tell me you you do? <laughs> but tell us, what will you do, Kimani? Um, I think I do like love songs. Mm. Yeah. You have musical notes in you. You know we might tell you 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 might actually start your 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 career right <laughs> now. You you, you actually be a singer. Attribute one, one, one song. Every year, one. Oh, you don't have to be your. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. You look like those ones that have really beautiful voices. I mean, my voice is rusty. The last time I sang was in primary school. Ah, you may stick. I'm trying to think of a song. I'm trying to think of a song. Maybe, maybe yes. afterwards, afterwards. Let me think, let me pick. Let me pick, let me let me pick comments um, okay. of people, what, what songs they are saying. Mm -hmm. You tell me if you can relate to those songs. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, someone is saying, um, Brick and Lies, Lies, someone is uh -huh. Love is wicked. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't bargain. And all my mood, strength and willingness to live is back. So Abesewa, after they played this, strength and willingness to live comes back. I also love those songs. I love them. So uh, there's this generation of songs that came during Time Your Breaking List. Uh -huh. um, during the Time Your Love is Wicked. Mm -hmm. What would you say has transitioned, has transformed in the music industry from this time to Saizi Penyetuko? Mm. I feel like you know, the songs is Akitambo, they used to be very, they're still trending even now, mm -hmm. but the music that's coming out uh, in this new generation, I feel like it's seasonal. It's not as impactful at it, as it used to be back in the days. Because you'll still find R&Bs trending till dates, but nowadays uh, music, uh, it a hit. And then it's it's going to hit for some time, and then the vibe in Aisha too, in a potato. But the R and Bs they're still up to date. You can still listen to Love Is Wicked, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, say so it's it's like Saudi. Say it's like I'm trying to feel, and as I sing, so I'm just to an end. I'm just to an end here, and uh, and a record song, and it's like. But well, not like it's a simple thing. See, I'm trying to make for a long time. I can't get any other thing. I can't 
it's like tu unaona mtu amefanya hii alafu wewe unasema aso me i can do it so unapata sometimes it's you no know, yeah do you feel like right <coughs> now um the energy the vibe we're getting from music is the same like those ones that kitambo no it's different no, really. what, what what is different about it for me i can say like say okay songs like tambo they held that as in okizisikiza unasikia that message they have but for now it's like no it's totally different it's totally different yeah i'll second what she said that <coughs> nowadays anyone just goes to the studio as long as you have the funds you can go and record uh, some music it's no longer about the talent it's no longer about like the passion it's just as long as you have the money yeah. and you want to be famous yeah. squeeze it's about fame if you want to be famous you just go hit the studio couple songs and you're trending so it's no longer about your passion the commitment to the music that's why these songs is now very seasonal like they fade with time the songs that we have currently because there is no longer that you is all songs za kitambo you will feel like the artist really put in the work you know like they have passion they are singing it with the, like so much passion they took their time to create the song the message the lyrics everything it was calculated but nowadays it go very you go as long as you have a beat or something you, you can hit the studio get a song trend that's it uh, does music Mm, just thinking, does music necessarily need to have a um, message? Ama kukwa nango matutu na fakusikia tutujwe hii ni... Yeah, it is should you have. Could you have a few do? You don't have a song to listen to and you're just like... No, 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 no. It's like you don't have a song, but it's making me feel good. So do you feel like, um, rather, um, sh does music really have to have a message for it to, like, qualify to be music? For me, it's a yes. Mm -hmm. Why do you think so? Mm. Okay, the thing on the other quimba is you have you have to as in be sure of it, as in ikuwe chenyuna imba kilomtu amelewa na it it has meaning to people. Yeah, the people who pate kuelewa. Do you never end up seeing kitu? It's like yeah. <laughs> I feel like it depends because let's take the instance of I'm a piano music. Most of like their songs are so long, 10 minutes, but they're repeating the same thing. But it's so catchy because of the beats and all that. So I kind of feel like it depends because okay, take your I'm a piano. It's a little, it's more of the beats for them than the message. But yeah, kind of depends on the artist, on the genre of the music that you're listening to. Because this is to them your gospel. It, it has to have a meaning. It has to, you have to connect with the song. If it's a love song, you have to connect with it. But when it comes to your like, I'm a piano music, you were connecting with the vibes, the entertainment. Yeah, so that's my no. opinion. Let me, let me, let me corroga you a bit. Mm -hmm. um, in, in cost. When they koseana or something, when they kosana, mm -hmm. or when they disagree, you will find someone amekuvalia leso ikona a certain message yes. they are passing to yeah. you. Now, when we are either in a relationship or just in friendships, and we kosana with someone, we start seeing them post some some type of songs on yeah. their status. Yeah. Do you think it's a mode of communication <laughs> or something? Can, is music a mode of communication? Mm, it is. You feel attacked by very. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in such a situation? I'm on a scan. I'm going to play on my flani too quickly. Eh? You you listen to the song and then you start wondering, do I have a beef with you? Yeah. 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 Do, do, do. I have friends. Why do you think that? Like, I have seen I have <laughs> seen um, a couple I was following on TikTok, Juicy too. I was scrolling on my phone and then you, you know people have broken up with the songs they post and like you know the message. So when I post very when I draw this song is for yeah. someone, you're yeah. sending a message. So I feel like music communicates. 
eh, ina communicate like unajua eh there's something wrong here trouble in paradise for this too so ikoi <laughs> mm -hmm. and then now mm -hmm. the other category a heartbreak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those guys when you mm, someone the other day <laughs> that reminds me someone the other day told me to make a playlist a heartbreak now which one is that Mm -hmm. The sad mm -hmm. songs. Yes. <laughs> Adele. We saw Adele nika kumbuka mimi niliona mahali. So I don't want to see that thing. Wacha tu wacha ni nayo. You were saying something. <laughs> I'd say what kama Adele you relate to when you had broken. Who else? Those what will would I classify them as? Um, those English songs that uh, Akina Adele Luko, yeah, Sam Fisher, who else? Such. There's also some South African uh, Amapiana song. It's a heartbreak song. It's called Hamba Juba. I think it's been trending. It, I didn't know the message, so I was listening to it like uh, so much. And then I decided to like Google the lyrics. Kumbe, it's a heartbreak song. Like uh, the lady is talking about uh, go away, go away, my dove, something of the sort. So, yeah. Huh? Have you ever been in a situation where you're, you're needing someone, like a song, to communicate to someone because you don't want to communicate to them directly? For me, no. <laughs> no. Hey. You've been dating good people. <laughs> <laughs> I have never sent to someone, but I think I've been sent. A song. I have never sent music to communicate. I think I've received. <laughs> hey, you, you've been on the receiving end. Yeah. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to say something. You know, um, when it comes back, I'll say it. When it comes, okay. when it comes back, okay. I'll, I'll definitely. Say I'll definitely say it. Mm -hmm. What are some of the trends you think ha are taking place in terms of music? In, in, if you compare music from Kitambo and now, what are some of the trends, positively, negatively, that are taking place in the music industry? I feel like uh, music has broken a uh, language barrier. Um, so many people all over the world relate to a certain type of music, regardless of the language it's been sung. And that's a really good thing. Yeah. Could take an instant. They are my piano songs in South Africa. Everyone listens to them. They even bring in artists. So it means it's really, it's really grown. And also K-pop songs, every French songs, yeah, Levis, you've said Kachwa. You see, you were singing it and you didn't even know the meaning. So it's broken the language barrier and that's a really good thing. For me, I'll say you will just vibe. Okay, <laughs> you for have me. a <laughs> voice. So let's, let's so try to keep your voice a bit high. Okay. You for me, I'll just say you will just vibe with the song that Unaskia Tweet Yakubamba. Yeah. Nothing. Me, else. if you are a musician and want to know, what would you really write about? Other than gospel, what will be the message of your music? You look so. I'm like that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> I always like that, don't worry. Shit, we won't go back. Yeah. Like, go my heartbreak. We are on that topic. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Your heartbreak. We shit, we am too. No, CJ, you missed the part of the break. Have you? Have you? Sorry to say. Have I? Yes. <laughs> Wait. I, I'm really, I'm really, like, really interested to know who have you been dating? Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship? Sorry to ask. Yes. Okay. But, okay. yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. You guys will come to me and ask me. No, sing it, sing it, sing it. Nile? Nile, come and talk to me. Nile is about to dedicate a song to you, to that man. Hey! Hey. <laughs> 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 men, men have suffered. 
No, let me ask you something. Um, since you were in East to story, I'm a bit zany. Don't keep quiet, Kili. But um, usha iji pata ukoko situation yenye. You loop a song because it reminds you of a particular scenario or a particular person. Yes. Yeah. It mm. yeah. It brings back nostalgia, like you have yes. the memories and everything. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You guess so you're sure. <laughs> what, 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 what music do you love listening to? Mm, I guess, me adjust the vibe in Yeah. But you don't have a particular genre you love. Mm. As in me, as in the song in any skin and vibe. As in the vibe now, we just go with it. Mm. Wow. Nangoja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but see, so the the new breed of songs I'm waiting for them to release. Mm -hmm. Me, those ones is um um African parents. You see the way we have music for relationships, Mickey break up, you post yeah. to another uh, I want ones for African parents that they will take for their children. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we have music for children that can yeah. but now we don't have music for parents. Mm -hmm. Singing to their children. Mm. Yeah, this I yeah, true. <laughs> I have never seen that too. Do you think um how a musician lives, like the lifestyle of a musician affects the music they produce and the way people view them. How they live, their lifestyle. Yeah, I think it does. And it also influences the people who listen to their songs. How? Because take an instance, rap, rap music. You know, it's associated with what, what they sing about. They sing about murder, drugs, all those things, how they're gangsters, you know. Um, these musicians, you will also find that uh, they have got cases, that they were caught like in a attempted murder, things of those sorts, but you'll find their fans de uh, defending them. And you'll find them also like emulating their behaviors, the tattoos, everything, the dress codes, fashion, everything. So I feel like their lifestyle also, it does, it does. Because I feel like they also, s they sing about what they go through in their lives. There was this rapper, um, I can't remember the specific rapper, but he, um, he was arrested for like multiple murders or something of a sort. And they, were, they got evidence from the lyrics of his song, of the songs he was singing. You know how they sing about uh, they've murdered who and who, uh, they robbed where and, wo and what. Mm -hmm. And they had to come up with a law that you cannot use a musician's lyrics to like uh, arrest them. So yeah, I just feel like their lifestyle really does influence the kind of music they put out in the society. Emily, what do you think about that? Uh, for me, I'll just say, mm, lifestyle yeah, or uh, Depending on the song you do, as in, lazima tu utataka, as in, unataka tu kufraisha your fans. So you have to do what you, as in, fans wako, watanini, as in, wata, watakuwa more attracted eh, to you. So, lifestyle yao ni ngumu, serious. Yeah. Do you think the lifestyle, um, the lifestyle affects the, the way this, Spend because at the end of their careers, majority of musicians have nothing to show for it. Um, yeah, for some, for some, I feel like I feel like the music industry. It's so easy for someone to be carried away in that moment and just forget about like you know the future and everything, because it's they're surrounded by entertainment all the time. Their gigs are in clubs. Uh, everything about them is entertaining. So they have girls all around them. 
Yeah, so you find them spending money on these girls. You hear scandals. I don't know who cheated. Take an instance to Baba and Annie. You see how he, he's always in a scandal. Mm. He's, he got someone pregnant. He was found cheating. So I just feel like, yeah. At the end, it's so easy to like splurge all that money because I feel like it also comes with discipline, which most of them don't really have. But it's not that all of all musicians are like that. There are some who really save and they have they've built themselves. If you take an instance, Rihanna, she built a, a whole business and it's doing well. So it just depends. But there is easy influence in that industry. Yeah. Millie, do you think that um, there is pressure for musicians to become in terms of there is pressure for them to live a certain way, uphold certain standards, mm -hmm. you know, do certain things? show up in a V8, show up with a designer. Do you think there's that pressure? The pressure is always there because someone will be like, I want to be like this, I want to be like that. Nataka kuka lifestyle, yeah, we say, I want to, as in, the pressure too, as in, yeah. I second that, mm -hmm. that there is so much pressure they receive, especially from their fans. You know, the fans, when I expect you live a certain way, you should carry yourself in a certain manner. If they find a famous musician, maybe Mahali Kwama, to like, I, like, I'm finding Kwama Tatu. And also you'll find, like, your pressure is everywhere. Uh, when you look at now the K-pop music, that gen genre, those people, they, they receive so much pressure. Like, their fans are so obsessed in a manner that you'll find most of these idols, they don't even marry or like get girlfriends. Because the minute they do, they lose their fans. So they receive like so much pressure and they have to uphold a certain standards uh, so that they can maintain the fame. Yeah. How does the way they live affect the society in general? Um, come up again. How does the way musicians live, you know, the, the extravagant lifestyle, this whole thing, and you know, the young girls, young boys who look up to these musicians. So how does it affect the society in general? It does. It creates, a, sometimes it creates an unrealistic beauty standards, uh, unrealistic lifestyles, because now you're trying to live, trying to dress, like your musician and their their clothing is very expensive so coco na buy dupes the is adidas i don't know those famous brands and also when they talk about um when i talk about beauty standards they sing about a specific maybe you'll find they're singing about a specific kind of woman in their music and so you want to be that lady like they sing about the certain body shapes, certain skin colors, certain everything. So there is that pressure. Everyone is trying to keep up. And kama hujijui, you're going to feel the, that pressure and it's going to carry you away. And so you lose your self-confidence as a person too. Ooh, you, you, you have something you'd want to add on that? No. Okay. Yeah. So, Chi Rambatia and Asema Stella Wangu cover Afro by Les Wanyika. I don't know that one. <laughs> Someone else and Asema Sikutambui, Siju Yimimbona Nani. It's uh, not fair. Sorry? I don't know, it's the, the, the trending. Yes, the, 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 it's the trending music. Yeah, the oh. Sikutambui. <laughs> it's not Wakadinali or Brooklyn, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Sekinda. Uh -huh. Hey, keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody is saying, Kaveve Kazoze Unibebe Hadimbe. Diache tu apo, still yo? Nita uma ulivi. You have it. Kana producer wangwa na niangalela matoflani mahali ya me. Mahali yako tu, mahali tu. There is someone else saying Celine Dion, I'm alive. Okay, that one at least I know. Joe Kaka, 
then say, someone saying, sweetie, sweetie, by Zabron Singers. Mm, that is Peter Wandasi. Uh, then Kuko na Mungira Rasema Edgar Handsome, count me in, we have counted you. Jeremy Boimpole Anasema, count me in. Sasa Hivi, Vijana <laughs> Baru Baru featuring Ashley. Okay, I have been, uh, count me in. Then there is um, Zeka Zioki, Anasema, count me in. Gomaya Revani forever. I, uh, Mungira Anasema, Nimekubali. I don't know. Good question. I don't know. Good question. Love Yourself by Justine. Mahaba by King Kiba Evans. That's Evans. And that's Mahaba. Love Yourself. Ni Dennis Ndolo. Then Marshall Trepp. And I say, count me in. We have counted you. Moyo Wangu by Patrick Kubuya. Uyo ni Itambo. I say, at least you are the Mayanja Bungoma County President. Abud Kayala. And I say, Sharon Sharo. And I say, Yata Peter. Um, we? Kaende Kuenda. Kiminini massive well represented. That is Mudrik Mikhail. Then there is Chinzim Pole. Good morning to Yatapita and Mario songs. Okay. Uh, Boni Keno, good morning. Good morning to you, Boni. At my worst by by pink sweat. Sweater man is sweet. I think it's sweat. <laughs> I Riographer. <laughs> Riographer is saying good morning. Ni Riographer ni collocked at 001. Let the song be promises by Wiz Khalifa. Then Mungina Mesema Wakadinali on repeat mode. Okay. King Balo from Naivasha. Okay, thank you, King Balo. There's so many. Good morning, Eldoret is watching. That is Jesse J. Then Progene, Austin, and Sema Chiki to Kowengi Apa, Msikwe Min Nasabs. I mean, I didn't cost nothing, bro, to say, ah. Uh, then Anasema Bas, but uh, uh, okay. I, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm finding what I'm reading and I'm like, okay, wow. Zingina that's you pronounce. Then good morning, stay open uh, by f by Nyeshinsky featuring Diplo, that's used name. Esther Mumbi and Asema, good morning. Makuyu Kennel represented. Then DJ Felix and Asema, good morning. The song of Slowly by Melody. Do you believe in love? At least I already know. Yeah. Then Pedi <laughs> Wasadam and Asema, the car on board. Thank you. Then there's Hez Kram and Asema, count me in Hez Ram. Outer 029, Nandi County, well represented. Thank you. The Judufu Anasema, good morning, good morning to you, Judufu. Then Irungu J. San Anasema, watching. Raj Jose Anasema, Medi slowly. We keep your comments, keep your feedback coming right up. We will be taking them, yeah, on our social media handles at Y254 channel, Y254 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, to kimaliza this whole discussion. Mhm. Mm nataka kuombea tumalizie kwa points gani in terms of music. Mm -hmm. But I'd want you to give us a parting shot. Yo, how you feel you want to sum up the whole music trends and you know music and lifestyle. Let me start. Na na mbeni kana ni yote wili. So I'm wondering what is that let's start from me. Eliza tena. Eliza swali tena. Give us a parting shot. Mm? Give us a parting shot. Use that camera, and then people will talk about our piece of social media. Okay, me on Instagram to put a uh, underscore Gina Mili underscore. On Facebook, me Milingeno. Ah, uh, just the strip. I just use the strip. Sicko Twitter, sicko me. Yeah. Finally, he was a parting shot and tell us where we can find on social media. Um, I've enjoyed the show. Thank you. You're a great host. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, love to have you. <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed. I've been myself. I've been relaxed. Yeah, um, so you can find me at Kimani Faith Instagram. And um, I work with Safari Updates, as I've mentioned. We have Safari Rally coming up this weekend. And it's only ten thousand. So if you if you have the money, DM us. We'll take you, and you can travel all over the world with us. Yes. Okay. 
tell us where we can find you on social media? You can find me at Kimani Faith, Kimani underscore Imani at Instagram. And I also do hair. You can find crochet underscore mistress. Yes. And also on TikTok, the same, same names. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you for conversing with us. It means a lot to mm -hmm. have Welcome. you. Welcome. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later. Let me stick to my lane. So thank you for keeping us company. Thank you for your feedback. It is highly appreciated. Thank you for keeping me here. You know, it means a lot to have been with you. This is Wine Morning. Hashtag WCW and Strength of a Woman. Tomorrow we do the same, same time, same place, same person. Grace Maingi. Have a blessed day.